ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम टैलेंट बैटल हेलो एवरी वन आई एम रोहित एंड वेलकम टू आवर न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द प्रीवियसली आस्ट एस क्यू एल क्वेरी राइटिंग क्वेश्चन फॉर जेंसी एलिवेट प्रोफाइल इट विल हेल्प यू टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द सेम ऑल्सो यू कैन ज्वाइन अवर मास्टर क्लास ट्रेनिंग वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर ऑल सच काइंड ऑफ प्रीवियसली आस्ट क्वेश्चन डू ज्वाइन अवर सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स वेयर वी आर कॉन्स्टेंटली अपडेटिंग अबाउट ऑन कैंपस एंड ऑफ कैंपस प्लेसमेंट्स links to all these handles are provided in the video description and before we start don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon for instant notification about our videos one important thing you should notice about this section that is sql query writing section that they will provide you the problem statement regarding to the query and simultaneously they will provide you the database schema also based on that database schema you have to figure out the tables and the dummy data you can take and then you write down the query which will satisfy their requirements as per the provided output specification so schema understanding is very much important here relationship between the tables so that key constraints you can apply and based on that you can write down the queries some important topics such as normalization joins basic ddl dml dcl commands then clauses then inner queries if this much you prepare easily you can solve these questions the level of difficulty is medium here understanding of schema and then writing down the query this is the only task so let us see the question first write an sql query to display what we are expecting here is the last name of the students who scored consistently during their mid term and full term examinations so here we have to map the data which is equal or the constraint based like this mid term is equals to full term right but the output should be in the format of only last name records so they have mentioned here your output should contain only one column and that is like this last name column data so all the records you don't need to display here you just need to display the last column the database schema is also provided here student table student id first name last name registration table with five entities here registration id registration year id student id mid term grade and full term grade so if you just check out the schema you will understand that here the student id can be the primary key unique records here registration id can be the primary key unique records but here student id is also present in second table so you can apply here foreign key constraints on the basis of student id which will help us to fetch the records of last name only because last name is present only in student table but the grades on the basis of which we have to write down our conditional constraints are present in the registration table so two tables are there so step by step what we have to do first we need to create the database means create all these tables as per the provided schema then insert some records so i will insert some dummy data here and then we will write down the query and we'll cross check the answer so let us first create the table student and registration right so i have taken here two tables with some dummy data student id first name last name in the student table and in the registration table registration id registration year student id mid term grade and full term grade if you see i have added unique student id 1 to 5 records with some first name last name parameters and in registration table same student id is utilized and primary key can be this registration id here and grades see the mid term grade is a full term grade is also a here for second student id it is a and b b and c a and c and f f for the student id 5 now the consistency in the grade is described with the mid term grade and full term grade to be equal so if here i compare the consistency in the grade is there otherwise all the remaining three records are not consistent so my expected output should contain only two records where the registration id is 101 student id is 1 and the last one is 105 student id is 5 but we don't want to fetch this records or we i would say we don't want to display these records in terms of id student id or year we just need to display the last name parameter so the id 
who is satisfying our constraints last name should be displayed so this is the output similarly id 5 is also satisfying the thing so this is the output so it might be one single record as per your data or it might be multiple records but it should be in the format of last name only okay so this is the expected output for this example as per the taken data okay now let us write down the query creating the data tables first and then inserting the values then writing down the queries so i am using sql online compiler you can just go to the google and search about it you will get this okay so see here i have first taken create table student with student id as an integer primary key then first name text last name text then next table i have created that is registration registration id integer which is primary key for this table registration year student id mid term grade full term grade and foreign key constraint for student id which is present in student table then i have inserted some values here 1 2 3 4 5 records first name last name first name last name for this okay and the last record was ajinkya kulkarni let's see now my table is ready what i can do i can just quickly write down the query select star from student so that i can just cross check whether my table is properly created or not okay so i will quickly run this and you can see here in the output section my table is ready with three columns first column is 1 2 3 4 5 that is student id then first name and then last name means up till now whatever we have written is working fine now let us perform the insertion for registration table which consists of five entities right five attribute columns so insert into registration values first is registration id that is suppose 101 then year is suppose 2000 then student id 1 grade a and one more grade that is full term grade a c this is what the main single record now i will just copy this for five times so it will match with five records suppose student id 2 student id 3 student id 4 student id 5 okay now we need to change the grades also so as per our discussion my grade is b here capital b then in the third case it is capital b for the first term full uh, and mid term and the last one will be capital c then here it is capital a and in the next column it is capital c and in the last case student id 5 it is f for mid term also and f for full term also so that consistency in the grid is achieved by first record and last record even you can change the registration ids like this 102 103 104 105 making it unique primary key constraint table name is registration so i think little bit of spelling change okay so my records are ready now insert into registration and values will be 101 to 105 uh registration year you can keep constant or if you want to change it you can do that i will take random data for some cases okay then 1 2 3 4 5 5 and grade values will be like this so consistent records are id 1 and id 5 which are satisfying the condition now let us display this table also select star from registration so that we will get the idea okay now see my both the tables are properly getting displayed first one that is student table here second one that is registration table here now the important thing that we need to write down the query now we want last name that is very sure and those who are satisfying the condition of mid term grade equals to full term grade that is our record based on the student id but that is present in one table and grades are present in another table so we can use the concept of inner query where we will be having where clause and without inner query also you can write it down 
so first i will show you the query uh, which is on the format of inner query using where clause and then without also right both cases so let us check the first one select i want last name okay from which table student table and i am combining it for registration also where my student dot student id is equals to registration dot student id because if you see this student dot student id is equals to registration dot student id is nothing but the our foreign key constraint student id is present in both the tables so i am just mapping that and my main condition midterm grade is equals to full term grade okay now let us execute this query see the first query execution was line number 25 so i got the student table then select star from registration will give me registration table and this query is giving me the last name records that is battle and kulkarni these are two last name records of id number 1 and id number 5 where consistency in the grades is there a a and f f right this is one thing apart from this if you are interested in inner query writing that also you can do so i will quickly write down that query as well select last name only because we want records in the format of last name student where student dot student id in now you can write down your inner query select registration dot student id from registration table where my satisfying condition that registration dot midterm grade equals to registration dot full term grade right and complete this so i have taken last name from student where my student id should be present and registration table also matched with the student id and then condition of mid term grade equals to full term grade so what concepts i am using here simple where clause is used in the first query second query as well as inner query concept so any one ah it is not both solutions required any one will give now just check the second solution also see you got two times record battle kulkarni battle kulkarni so this is what the output of our query and this is the correct one because the last name is battle and kulkarni of these two students who are satisfying the consistency condition now you will understand this is easy once you understand the database schema and the question properly you can write down it figure out the structure create table inserting the data and then write down the query so i hope the video was useful to you guys and thank you for your patient hearing